like to welcome everybody to the first uh, first ever Duke Hoops blog and um, pretty much what I want to discuss today is is the upcoming game on, on Saturday night uh, Duke versus North Carolina uh, battle for the for the number one seed in ACC tournament regular season championship is on the line uh, Duke's possible uh, number one seeds on the line uh, Carolina looking to move up, maybe advance into the to the three or maybe even a, a two seed line. So so there's a lot at stake on on Saturday night. Um, not just the basketball game. There's a it, the winner of this game. It could be huge. Uh, and uh, you know pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna break down that uh, that ball game a little bit. Um, North Carolina they're coming off of a off of a big win on. Um, Wednesday night versus Florida State down in Tallahassee. They uh, they got a big shot from Harrison Barnes late, and that sealed the deal against uh, against the Seminoles. Uh, Duke, they're coming off of a home win against Clemson in a game where uh, Clemson gave them a pretty tough fight, but uh, but in the end uh, Duke pulled out the victory. Um, Duke comes in 27 and three overall. 13 and 2 in conference play, and they are number four ranked team in the country. North Carolina comes in at 23 and 6. They're 13 and 2 overall as well in the conference play, and they are ranked number 13 in the country. Now, for Duke, uh, in order for Duke to be successful on Saturday, they've got to do a uh, couple things. Uh, actually, a lot of a lot of things, but um, the major things that I could come up with are uh, one is rebound the basketball if uh, I know in the first game uh, Carolina out rebounded Duke 45 to 40 and uh, in my opinion if Duke is able to keep the the rebound advantage close they don't necessarily have to out rebound them. if they can keep it close like like 45 to 40 then I think that uh, I think they'll be in good shape uh, towards the end of the ball game um, another thing Duke needs to do is Duke needs to limit their turnovers um, while on offense. Uh, they were have been a little bit sloppy with the basketball the last probably a couple of weeks, and UNC is actually the number. Uh, uh, well, they're they're a top five defense in the country right now, uh, statistically, and they, uh, with the insertion of Kendall Marshall into the starting lineup, can can kill you if you turn the basketball over, and they will turn it into uh, they'll turn it into points. So Duke needs to limit the turnovers, um, at least in the open court, and uh, that will limit Carolina's transition game, and it will also limit um, it. It will make them play in the half court, which they're they're not as as uh, as lethal in the half court game as they are in the open floor. Uh, Duke also. Um, believe it or not, uh, they're going to have to hit some threes. Um, and their losses, uh, they're, they've gone four for 20 and, you know, three for 18 and, and so forth. And uh, what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to make threes. And, and as I said before, if they don't make threes, they're going to have to rebound their threes. Um, but pretty much in order for Duke to have a to, – to be – Right where they want in the last two or three minutes, they need to they need to put the ball in the basket from from beyond the three point range. Uh, as far as North Carolina, um, of course they they'll have the big home crowd. Uh, everybody's going to be everybody's going to be jacked up to beat on the Dukies. And um, uh, pretty much uh, Carolina has struggled from three about all year. And um, I, I think in order for them to be successful on Saturday, they need to they need to make a couple of more than what they usually average. Um, and I know uh, against Florida State, um, they hit I think it was five three pointers. And uh, if they if they hit five three pointers on Saturday, Duke's Duke's going to be in trouble because um, they they Carolina's going to shoot a high percentage from two. And uh, Duke needs to limit what they do from three point range. Um, Carolina needs to rebound the basketball as well, and uh, what they, when I say they need to rebound it, um, 
they need to beat Duke up on the on the boards. And like I said before, last time last game they it was 45-40 in Carolina's way, and uh, a lot of that was in the first half, and therefore Carolina had the big lead. And so for in order for Carolina to to be where they want to be when the when the final buzzer sounds, they need to uh, out rebound Duke by more than five. I mean, it's got to be in, in the ten or fifteen range. And if they do that, they're they're going to win hands down. Um, they need to get they need to get produ production from their guards, um, Dexter Strickland, Leslie McDonald, who's had a few nice games lately. Um, they need to get some points from. Kendall Marshall, who is, uh, who as we all know, is is dishing the rock uh, better than anybody in ACC right now. So um, they need to get production from from the guards in order to uh, to be in the in the winners locker room at the at the Dean Dome on Saturday night. Um, I also feel like maybe the the home crowd for Carolina could be. Um, it, it could be both good and bad, um, mainly because the fact that um, a lot of Carolina's players maybe have not played in a in a game this meaningful, and um, it of course Zeller you know Zeller was around for the national championship, but as a whole, um, probably uh, what could happen is they could get. It could work in reverse of, of what it what it's supposed to. You know, the home crowd is supposed to get everybody jacked up, supposed to help, and maybe the home crowd could work as at a disadvantage because you know those guys could come out and be a little uh, a little too jacked up as Duke was in the first meeting, and uh, and that could be troublesome. Um, having said everything that I've said, um, of course, as you see. I am a Duke fan, so my opinions are uh, probably going to be a little biased towards Duke. But um, something tells me that uh, that Coach K is going to bring he's going to bring his A game on Saturday, and uh, you know because a, a lot of the Carolina fans are are expecting a win as they should, and because Carolina is a very good basketball team. Um, and so what I feel is going to happen is Coach K, uh, he's going to have a, he's going to put in his team's, in his team's head that, you know, uh, we're getting no respect, uh, you know, everybody's picking Tar Heels, everybody likes the Tar Heels, and I feel like, uh, sort of like the 2001 game after Boozer went down, and, you know, he, Coach K, uh, he didn't want to have a pity party. Uh, everybody's feeling sorry for him, and you know, n not necessarily it's the same situation here. But um, Coach K is gonna have his boys ready, as is Roy Williams, uh, of course. And uh, but uh, my prediction for the for the ball game is a 74-69 victory for the Blue Devils in a game in which uh, very heated. Uh, from a not necessarily from a fighting standpoint, but from a uh, just a physicality and uh, from an, an overall just very well played basketball game. Um, but anyway, uh, what I'm going to try to do from now on is is once a once or twice a week come back and um, you know give my opinions, thoughts, uh, and what have you. Thank you.